Which brings us to our big story. While we're talking about Republicans, it seemed like a pretty good time to roll out our plans for homelessness, actually their plans for homelessness, by two of the leading candidates for governor, Christine Drazen and Bud Pierce. And before you Republicans start yelling at your TV or yelling at your phone, yes, I know. It is a crowded field of candidates. Several have a shot at securing the nomination in the May primary. 17 Republicans actually have officially entered the race, and we've heard from a lot of your supporters. We've been looking at campaign finance reports, and it's clear there are three other Republicans that we do need to hear from. They're Bob Tiernan, Bridget Barton, and Stan Pulliam. Those are all the candidates who right now have over $100,000 in the bank. We've contacted their campaigns today. We hope to interview them soon so that we can share their positions on important issues like violence and homelessness. In the meantime, let's hear from Christine Drazen. She's the former Republican leader of the Oregon House of Representatives at the state legislature. She said homeless issues are a problem all over the state and that just building housing is not enough to deal with the issue. It's a people problem. It's, it's, a, it's a humanitarian crisis, and that has a whole lot more layers of complexity than just this simple question of, does somebody have a key to a tiny house uh, to get out of the cold? It's got to be a part of the solution to have places for people to transition and live long term. But we have got to address the challenges, which are mental health, behavioral health, substance use, and of course the criminality that comes with some of the, some of the issues around substance use disorder. And in Oregon, we have some of the worst numbers for addiction in the nation. And unfortunately, along with that, we have some of the, uh, the worst uh, access to recovery services. All of that contributes to what is, in fact, a very complex problem right now. And there's a lot of money being thrown at this problem, but we have not seen it actually affect outcomes. Would you back or would you support forcibly moving people off of the street if there were shelters available and they chose not to go? Yeah, I think that you have to give people access to services and supports. And if at that point they make the choice not to, uh, not to take advantage of those services and supports, then you do need to remove them from the street. So Drazen would attack the problem with more money or programs for mental health and drug addiction recovery, along with more shelters, very similar to what a lot of Democratic candidates have been saying. But she would also force the homeless off the streets if at the end of the day those things were in place and people would still not go. The two candidates sound pretty similar to each other, these two Republicans, Dr. Bud Pierce, also believes in compassion and programs to help people with mental health issues and drug addictions. And he too would force people off the streets if need be. If you come from the point of view that someone is out of control, they're suffering as a human being, and we need to move in and maybe force them against their stated desires to help them with all kinds of oversight, it's transparent, it's not to do anything to harm people, and you, want, and you really care about people, that's what you're going to do. If you come at it from the point of view of they have to be free to do whatever they say they want to do, it's a, it's a rights issue, then you're going to go in a different direction. I think that's the direction we've gone into and it's gotten us into trouble. And I would say for most citizens that I've spoken to, they agree with that plan. And if the law and the judges don't allow us to go that way, maybe we need to change the law and the judges. So it's basically, we're going to help you. We're on your side. There's advocates, there's overseers, there's transparency. But at the end of the day, you need to go be taken to a place that is there for your benefit to help you. And if you absolutely thumb your nose at that and go back to the streets and you are breaking the law and then you need to be sheltered in a way that you may not like with good, you know, that with food and shelter and, and medical care for a short period of time. And then we'll try you again. We're never going to give up on you. We're not going to ruin you with this, but we're not going to let you live on the streets and along the riverbanks and in the forests. That's so harsh on you and harsh on us. So we just need to stop that. Again, it is a crowded field on the Republican side. We can't talk to every candidate because we simply don't have the time, but we are talking to every candidate who's both actively campaigning and has at least $100,000 in the bank. In the meantime, tomorrow night, we'll hear from Democrats Tobias Reed and Tina Kotek on how they would deal with the homeless problems in Portland and around Oregon.